Hey, this is Ben Solomon and welcome to this episode of the Techno Leadership Show. In this episode, which is the final episode of Season 5, I wanted to talk about a few things, um, including a quick run-through of what we covered in Season 5 and how things are going to go in Season 6 going forward so I can continue to share things that I've learned during my career as a tech professional and as a tech manager and then finally as a tech director and also bringing in other experiences from being in account management, sales um, and also a strategic account director. All of those aspects into how to help the business that you're working with but also helping your career because at the end of the day unless you are utilizing your skills your unique skills your unique strengths in a combination with an organization that actually appreciates that and pays you well for the value that you bring you're not going to have fulfillment in the job the work that you're doing whether it's as a tech professional or into management and executive leadership unless you're using all those aspects and in an environment where it's appreciated it's really hard for us to enjoy the work that we do get the fulfillment that we want out of the work that we do and the people that we serve so with that in mind season five unfortunately we started off with um, a lot of acceleration doing um, a lot of episodes to then slowing down because of a lot of changes in my life in uh, my family's life and in everything that we were doing which meant there were weeks when i had to take a complete break um, and also meant that i wasn't creating content um, in batches and having things ready so all of that played against me and it's also made me rethink how I wanted to continue. I wanted to continue doing this because I actually enjoy sharing what I've learned and how it can help others in that situation because I really did not have this about 10 years ago when I was in that position um, struggling to go from a tech professional to into management. I had to learn a lot of lessons the hard way. Hopefully I can help you skip the pain but at the same time help you get the skills that you need to be able to progress to the level that you want in your professional career so as a tech professional or as a tech manager or as a tech exec so in season five we basically covered things around customer experience how to bring that human touch into the work that we do as tech professionals as managers and execs to strategically as well as tactically bring aspects of the human touch into the work that we do giving great customer experience for our customers whoever that might be whether that's internally your staff in the organization or externally the staff that interface with the business that you are working for and we went through how cost cutting can lead to us not being able to give the best possible innovative outcomes that we can and went from there into leadership structures, history of leadership and how that affects us in the current world where the industrial model of leadership doesn't really work for this technology driven era and going forward. So we need to rethink how we lead, how teams are structured and how we allow our team members to be able to get the outcomes without having to always be there micromanaging or telling them how to do things they are the experts in how to do things we need to set the vision of what needs to be accomplished and what resources we have available so that they can come up with the how based on their unique strengths based on their experience and expertise which is what they are in that position for for the outcome of the business so yeah that's those are main things that we covered and then we covered things around our own fear and how we potentially sabotage our career growth how we feel like you know we can just wait it out and if we stay in a position for long enough we'll have enough experience to go into tech management or executive sort of levels but 
which tends to be a misconception because it's not the technical skills that is going to make you a good manager or a leader. It's your ability to present your unique skills and your unique strengths in a manner that is of benefit to the business that you're applying for, for those roles, that's most important. And your tech skills help so that you can manage the people under you to actually get the job done, but it's your leadership skills, the ability to be able to present yourself as well as the value that you bring to the organization, that's a very important aspect of how to apply for the roles as well as interview and get the roles. So we went through all of that and how we should pay more attention to our personal brand, whether in the organization or externally, so that we have the right perception that we need and we can serve the people in the organization as best as possible, as well as serve potential people who are looking to recruit you into the organization by presenting the best of you, your unique strengths, and talents and skills that you bring. Then we went into communication, which is a very important aspect, whether you're currently in a technical role or in a management role or an executive leadership role, all of these things. The most important thing is communicating at the level of the people that we are serving. When we understand where they're at and talk at their level, they tend to trust us respect us, which then helps us do our jobs better in supporting them and serving them. So those aspects and how to get respect and earn the respect of your colleagues, which then helps you have the courage and the confidence to do great things in the organization. So all of those things we've uh, covered in season five, which is fantastic, very important for professionals in all spectrum of the career, whether it's early stage, um, senior pro tech professionals, managers, senior managers, or exec leaders. Because there are some times when we forget the lessons that we've potentially learned in previous stages of our career, and then we lose that edge that we had because we've forgotten some of these important aspects. So it's a good refresher for everyone involved. Season six. It's going to be a tiny bit different. I'm going to take a couple of weeks break to get a few things sorted, um, improve aspects of uh, the coaching program, putting together a system that anyone who is interested in going from tech professional and upgrading into a tech management role would have the skills that they need to know themselves, to know the kind of strength that they bring to any role and to present themselves well to get the role and then how to thrive in the role and give the value that they uniquely can create. So there's certain things that I wanna do um, with the help of uh, my mentors and coaches. Yes, I've got coaches who coach me. I've got mentors who also have experience in the industry, have been in similar sort of leadership roles um, who guide me as well. So I'm always looking at, you know, having other people that I can draw wisdom on and then share the best of me for others to be able to get that sort of support and wisdom as well through this podcast, um, podcast, through coaching programs, through any other material that I put out. So a couple of weeks break. Um, the next episode will be going up on the 25th of May, 2022. So I'll have that ready um, and then on the 25th we'll have that up and it'll again be a 26 episode season but it'll be one episode every week about 10, 10 to 15 minutes at most. You might have a couple of episodes that go a bit longer because there's probably a little bit more to cover but in most cases I try to keep it 10 to 15 minutes so it's easy for you to consume, easy for you to take action on and actually use it in your life. It's not just listening to stuff, but it's actually listening to stuff, making it a part of you and putting it into action in your life so that you can actually get results in your career and career growth. So that's pretty much what I've got in mind at the moment. Um, as always, 26-week um, 
sorry, 26 weekly episodes for season six. They'll take us quite close to the end of the year when Christmas and everything else comes up. And so hopefully, which means we can prepare you for a good career change if you're looking at it at the moment, or if you're thinking, okay, I'll look at a career change next year. Again, there's season one, two, and three that cover really the fundamentals and the foundational aspects, and then things that build upon that in season four, five, and then it'll be in season six as well that covers all of those aspects so that you can get all the insights clarity and the skill foundation that you need to get to that next level that you are aiming for. So hopefully that helps you out. I look forward to seeing you um, in season six, talking to you. If you have any questions, if you would like me to cover any specific topics, specific areas, specific uh, questions that you'd like me to address, please leave me a comment on the video in YouTube or on the blog. That's technoleadership.org so that I can cover that in a video or if it's something that I can cover as a reply, I can do that as well. So hopefully that helps you out. I look forward to talking to you in a future episode. I wish you all the best in your journey as a tech professional, manager and leader. If you like this episode, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button so that you're notified of future episodes as they are released and as the next season starts on the 25th of uh, May, which is in um, Australia, so 24th of May in the rest of the world when you'll get the notification. And I look forward to serving you and helping you in your career growth as a tech professional, manager and leader. Take care and have a good day.